Hi, this is Roger. This is just an information video. It's not orchids, but it is um, to do with the channel. Um, I thought I'd get it done early in the day before the headache sets in. Um, I get a, an unusual form of migraine that um, it has got a name, something like op optic summit or other, but basically my vision goes strange and has like a fuzzy like a blob <laughs> that starts off intense and small and gets bigger and bigger until it fades away which normally takes about 15 or 20 minutes and it's gone from a rare event to uh, a more frequent event unfortunately and it uh, to all intents and purposes is stress related so uh, I can understand it obviously if it gets too bad I might have to go and see somebody about it oh did I get that yes <laughs> oh, that won't die. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it looked like a midge, but midges are incredibly fragile. If you touch them, they disintegrate. That didn't, so that had quite a hard body casing to it. Whatever it was, it's gone. It looked like one of those little parasitic wasps. Anyway, ah, sidetracked. What was I going to say? Right, something that nobody ever takes any notice of um, on my uh, home page is the merchandise that's underneath. There's a trickle of people buy something every now and again. It's a, certainly not a big deal, but <laughs> in the current situation, it is another way of supporting the channel and you get goods. Um, and therein lies not a problem, but uh, the company have contacted me and they have said that they have done a quality upgrade to their base products. So this is the product that starts before you have your logos and stuff printed or your pictures printed. Um, and due to transportation costs and this, that and the other, their base price for all of those products is going up at the end of this month, I believe. So they've recommend, recommended that anybody that uses the site has a look at their prices they're showing the increase in the base price and you, uh, I'm going to have to go and have a look at my base prices to make sure there is still a profit margin. Now the idea is that I'll maintain the current profit margin and increase it only by what they've increased it by. So I'm not trying to grab any more for the product sort of thing. I'm just, because uh, obviously if I don't then my profit margin could be zero, uh, which would be a bit daft, wouldn't it? Anyway, so that's the uh, merchandise stuff. Um, as far as bugs are concerned, we're going to have a go with that. Now I know that says vine weevil killer and its basic function is a soil drench. So you mix it up and you soak your pot with it. But it is absorbed into the plant, it is systemic. And it can be used as a spray. Now this has got exactly the same active ingredient in it as the ready-made stuff that I use. It's exactly the same and it's the same concentration. 5% of this, yeah, per something or other. So it's identical. The only difference is with this stuff is that to use it as what it says on here, vine weevil killer, the strength of it is pretty damn strong. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a couple of sacrificial plants and I'm going to mix this up to the maximum concentration it says and put some in a sprayer and some in a container and I'm going to dunk the pot in the container leave it to soak for a bit so that the roots take it up try and do it when it's dryish as well and, and then I'm going to spray the plant as well now that's, that's the maximum I can get into the plant and then we'll see if the little whatnots die <laughs> It's got to be worth a try. Now, that date that I looked at on the other one that was a trifle worrying, um, it turns out that was the production date, not the expiry date. There is no expiry date on these things. You've got a hell of a job finding that out. Hell of a job. But this, the production date on this was June 2019, which sounds like quite a long time ago, but it's a sealed container. It hasn't been opened yet. It's had no exposure to air. So I'm assuming it's still okay. <laughs> you know. It's worth a try. So I will sacrifice a few plants. They will either survive and kill the bugs, they will survive and not kill the bugs, or they will die and then I don't care whether it kills the bugs. That's the three options. So that's that. Um, 
As far as the Patreon site is concerned, I've got 41 now, and I am... Oh, there's an expression, cock a hoot. Well, not the hell. <laughs> I've got a clue what that flipping means. Over the moon is a more suitable one. More than I ever expected. Big thank you there. Um, <clears throat> and quite a few people have used the buy me a coffee thing. That seems to sort of work okay. And, um... Yeah, so all, all those things are going okay. As far as membership, YouTube membership to the channel, I could open that up, but quite honestly, I don't like the fees. And I'd rather use the Patreon site, because although their fees are there, they're not excessive, really. And um, as I said, the extra, the extra work for me producing some videos just for the patron, patrons, which, is, which was the general idea, is not great. Um, and as I said, occasionally what I will do is I'll, I'll put a, an ad-free version of, of a video that's gone on the main channel as just sort of like a top-up perk, you know. Possibly the longer ones, yeah? Because <laughs> when there's a long video, YouTube go, right, you can have some ads there, 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 and by now, they become tedious and one more and they're annoying. So I know how it feels, you know. So um, the other thing is, I am glad to report, the analytics that I use, the basic ones, run on a 28 day rolling basis. So they roll forward a day at a time covering a 28 day period. And I changed the concepts of allowing the mid roll ads but disallowing non-skippable ads throughout, you know, that's beginning, middle and end, so uh, you only get skippable ads now. I can't remember when I made that change, but it's not that long ago. It's already showing up. It's already showing an increase, you know, in the amount of revenue generated from the adverts, um, which is the least people can do because it just costs a bit of time, if you see what I mean. And I'll, I'll, in case anybody didn't hear when I explained it, the way the ads work is, if the ad is shorter than 30 seconds, it has to be watched or nobody gets paid. If it's longer than 30 seconds, you need to watch at least 30 seconds before you skip out for the creator to get some pennies. And, um, <laughs> well, portions of pennies, <laughs> come to think of it. <laughs> and um, if you watch the whole advert, then the creator gets more money because the whole ad was actually watched and the algorithm actually, uh, you know, deals with the uh, advertiser accordingly. Your advert was watched in full sort of thing. So there, there is a sort of little top up there. So that's that. And um, as far as other things are concerned, um, I can't do anything about moving um, until I viewed this property on Saturday. I mean, I might get there and take a look at it and think, no, it's not for me. And the other problem I've got is looking into the time scales it's going to take to get to the point where I could move in. I could end up with paying for quite a few months in that property without being in it. That's a decision I've yet to make. That's if I even get it, obviously. Um, they may have many viewers, but I think a lot of viewers are going to be put off by where it is. Whereas for me, it's a bonus. Some people don't want to be out in the middle of nowhere with no neighbours and having the landlord down their neck. Um, there's, you know, people have different views of renting. Um, yeah, as I said, for me, it'll be absolutely ideal. But, remains to be seen. So, yeah, keep this one short. So, we'll have a go at this. I'm not proposing to do it now. Today, out here, I am watering my mounts and walking away. Um, I've had some hassles and... The interest isn't there today. If, if, if I start trying to do things to do with the orchids today, I'll end up getting ratty. So I will do the mounts, because <laughs> um, you know, that's something I do much more frequently and it's like an automated function. I can shut down and just do that, like a, just like a robot, really. So I'll get that done. And then we'll see what tomorrow brings. And uh, so it goes on. But um, yeah, we'll have a go with the new bug spray. I might have a go at that this afternoon. I've got to choose some plants. First of all, I've got to find plants that have actually got bugs so that I can find out if it gets rid of them. And plants that are not precious because it may well kill the plant. As I said, this is meant to be a, you know, although it says it can be used as a spray, I haven't yet found the... See, the, the, 
the concentrations it's, it, it gives you are for how much you pour in a pot and how big the pot is. Well, that's, you know, they, the whole pot's going to get dunked in the solution. Because this is, this is based on working in soil, basically. That's its primary function is for vine weevil larvae, which live in and around the base of plants in soil, chomping their roots off. It's, it's horrible for bonsai people if they get an outbreak on their bonsai trees because the first thing is they don't know they've got it and then the tree just collapses. You think, what the hell's happened to that? You take it out of the pot and all the roots are gone. And the tree doesn't die until all the roots are gone. <laughs> so you don't know you've got it. Horrible things they are. They never used to survive in this country because our winters used to kill them. Of course, there's no climate change. Our winters aren't getting warmer, are they? But these little blighters are now quite common. The adults, I've killed many out in the garden. So they're around. I don't think there's any in my bonsai trees, but uh, who knows? Anyway, that'll do. You've got my worst video ever coming up later. I am going to post it. Just put it down to a bad day. We all get a bad day. Um, and even though I don't get many, and often when I have one, you don't ever find out. I thought I'd let that go, so I will post it later. And I will see you tomorrow for something entirely different. All oh, things coming up. The coach trip itself is to Burnham's. It's on a Sunday, so there obviously won't be a Sunday chat that Sunday. It's the 22nd, so coming soon. Seagull. And obviously I'll be filming Burn Burnham's while I'm there. So there'll be a video direct from Burnham's. And then the next vid visit to Burnham's, which is... September, September the something or other, second weekend in September. Um, I shall be going with Hannah to that and Lynn. And um, that's the Devon Orchid Society show, but it's being hosted at Burnham's. There will be other traders there and other orchid societies with displays. So there'll be a lot of different stuff to film that's not Burnham's, if you see what I mean. And I'll probably restrict the video to interesting at Burnham's right rather than try to film the whole lot um, so there's those two things coming up so that, that, that they'll make some interesting videos and if I can on Saturday when I visit this property I will take the camera but um, whether I can film inside or whether I can having done my viewing whether I'd be allowed to have a wander and have a look at the grounds it depends but I'll take the camera in case so we'll get something from that and um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by and listening to what's going on. Um, and that's only half of it. Hence the headaches. See you next time.